If you've seen one of my last videos, I bought a new USB meter, but it has very short input cables, which makes it annoying to work with because the meter has to be very close to a power supply. One workaround is using a USB-C coupler, and I don't want to buy one. So let's see if it's possible to make one. I start off with a USB-C connector which has six pins. We take both of the connectors, flip one of them upside down, and hold the pins next to each other. Solder the sides, solder the pins, clean off the flux, clean the inside, make sure all of the pins are soldered well, and test. We take the meter, take a phone, plug it in, and it doesn't work. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it doesn't work because of the six wires, which makes it only work one way. Flip the cable upside down, and there it is and it doesn't quick charge. The device that we are trying to charge is a Huawei P20 Lite. I don't know if you've noticed, but for a brief moment there, it showed nine volts. So let's just say this is the first device that doesn't work. But if I would use a USB-A cable, then it does shift into nine volts. So just using the six pin, we have two issues, one-sided connector and Huawei not quick charging. So I thought maybe let's try a 16 pin connector. Same procedure as before, just more pins. Solders the sides, the connectors, clean it up, plug it in, and very intermittent behavior. Can't even understand why. It just started charging at 9, then it shifted back to 4. Then I thought, okay, let me just plug it in straight into the power plug and see what happens. Same weird behavior, 5 volts, but now it's 1 amp. Then I thought, okay, let's use a different device. Maybe it's just the phone that's weird. Plugging it in into a Google Pixel 7a, and it seems like a short circuit protection is kicking in or something. At this point, I just decided to go back to the six pin connector. Plugging it in and doesn't work. Okay, let's uh, flip the cable on the cable cable and we can notice the fast charging handshake. Around nine volts and two amps, just like it should be. Also, since we haven't tested, need to give it a little bit of a wiggle to see if any of the connections are loose. Victim number two, Huawei once again, just to see if anything has changed. The reason why it's not in the shot, because it's filming the shot. Although it's not quick charging, it is charging. Victim number three, my oscilloscope multimeter. Now in the shot, it seems like it's not charging, but I think the battery was full. But once I turned it on, it then swapped to using the power from the USB to power the device and not the battery. Later I did check if it's charging and it is. Device number 4, Asus VivoBook. This should charge at 20 volts and it is. Device number... what number? 5, Huawei, I don't know, MateBook 14 something, 20 volts and up to around like 3 amps if it's running. In this case it's off. And now it's charging. Device number six, Sony A7C. The camera was set up to USB mode, so it's not charging and it's waiting for a connection to transfer files. I am pretty sure the setting can be changed to just charging mode and then it'll work. Device number seven, Fairphone 4. It should be charging at nine volts, two amps, something like that. And uh, I'm guessing it slowly picks up the current because the battery is absolutely dead. This one ended up being quite weird. After running for like 22 minutes, it started to charge at 7 volts and 0.1 amp. And it showed a really high resistance in the cable. Might be that the cable is bad, but yeah after laying there on the table it starts charging so I don't know this one's a weird one and it, after some time it did charge fully device number eight UT 712s my thermal camera and it didn't charge I'm guessing because it does not have a power delivery controller inside so it only charges using USB a device number nine my electric screwdriver all I know it has a really tiny battery and I guess 5 volts and half an amp is fine. Number 10, Asus G14. Should be charging at 20 volts and a lot of amps. In this case, it's off, so it's charging only about 2 and it's full battery. 11th device is a ThinkPad. 
which is basically the same as all the other ones. 20 volts up to like 2.5 amps while powered off. 12th, another laptop, which I don't even remember, Acer something. This device is in sleep mode, so when we plug it in, it's taking over 3 amps because it's draining the power from the USB instead of the battery. 13th, uh, Sony wireless headphones. These were drained to absolute zero, so it took a moment until it started charging. And judging by the high current, we can say that it's fine. 14th, power bank. Cheap from China, no idea. Should be charging at 12 volts and no idea how many amps. But 1.5, that's good. 15th, another cheap power bank. This one should charge at 12 volts and one and a half amps, but it's only taking 0 0.7. Could be because the battery is at 84%. Charging through USB-A port, it draws 9 volts and 0 0.8 amp. And I think these type of tests were enough to conclude that the USB-C coupler with six pins is working fine enough. So I thought I'm just gonna put some UV gel on the pins to help the connection be a little bit more solid. And to protect the exterior, I was considering to use either hot glue or to use shrink wrap. And uh, I just chose to go with three layers of shrink wrap. And there it is, my finalized USB-C coupler with six pin connectors. Now after a few days of using it, I have once again hit the issue with my phone starting to blink when it needed to charge. And after some blinking, it started charging. So maybe the 16 pin connectors would work and I should give that another go.